Also tonight, hospitals planning ahead for the solar eclipse. 13 WAM's Natalie Calzatoni tells us how they are preparing for April 8th. Natalie, good evening. Good evening, Matt. URMC and EMS agencies are anticipating Eclipse Day will go smoothly, but safety plans have been put into place in the event of any emergencies. With up to 500,000 people expected to visit Monroe County for the total solar eclipse, local hospitals have been preparing for months. In our areas that are most likely to be affected, our emergency departments, our urgent care centers, we've attempted to staff up where we can. We're anticipating that our volumes will likely be a bit higher that day. David Shavitz, the senior program administrator for emergency medicine at URMC, says their biggest concern on Eclipse Day is getting patients from point A to point B. URMC is working with law enforcement to get emergency vehicles where they need to be. They have a, a plan in place to uh, clear roadways. Moving uh, a patient from one place to another might take a little bit longer. So we've scaled up our resources, again, adjust some of our staffing. Dr. Jeremy Cushman says EMS agencies are also planning ahead in case a patient needs to be airlifted to a hospital. So uh, we simply identified some locations, uh, mostly with our fire service partners, to make sure that they're uh, safe, secure locations that we can safely land an aircraft should it be needed. Cell service disruptions are also a possibility on that day. We're also encouraging staff and our leadership team to make sure that we've got backup means of communication. Email is always obviously a good option. Dr. Cushman wants to remind people not to look directly at the sun during the eclipse. If they're still seeing persistent uh, spots or floaters or, or flashes, uh, those would all be, be reasons uh, to, to seek an evaluation. Um, but again, uh, the, the most important thing is that this is 100% preventable uh, by doing the right thing, which is getting a good pair of glasses and, uh, and watching it through those. Since Strong West is located directly in the path of totality, Shavitz says the Brockport campus is increasing staff that day and partnering up with public service to ensure staff and patients can get there safely. Matt.